Welcome to this Innova Systems introduction to the Selection Manager. The Selection Manager, as the name implies, is a tool which enables you to control what you're selecting um, in order to go into certain commands when the sketches are too complex, as per the ones I've got on the screen, to be used as an entire sketch. It's usually used in the lofting tools, occasionally the sweeping tools, and very regularly when you're creating surfaces. Now, in order to bring it up, you've got two choices. If you've got a very complex sketch like I have on, uh, on my screen at the moment, you can just click on the sketch and it'll bring up the command manager. This is because SOLIDWORKS knows that what is available uh, is too complex to be used as a single sketch. The other option, right click and you've got selection manager. Now I'm just going to jump back to the other window so we can have a look at what's on the selection manager interface. You've got some standard buttons, accept and cancel, green tick, red cross, Clear selections, that enables you to clear everything you have uh, selected already without cancelling the tool. The pin, which enables you to pin the selection manager, so every time there's a tool which would use it or could use it, it will appear. You then got the five different ways of selecting things. Closed loop, this selects a series of sketch entities that form a single closed loop. Open loop, a series of sketch entities that form a single linear uh, selection. Free select allows you to go away and select all the different things you want to be in your um, selection um, however you want. Region, which allows you to select a single region to be included in your command and standard, which operates as if the selection manager wasn't open. So if we go back to SOLIDWORKS, what we're going to do is we're going to use the selection manager tool here in order to run through those different options. So first of all, if we select uh, closed loop, as I hover over the sketch you'll see the closed loop will highlight so there we get our trapezium, and if we move across a bit further, we'll get our circle. We can't get a semicircle because there isn't an actual join between these two sketch entities here. So it just swaps between one or the other. So if I select my uh, trapezium in the top, then accept it, and then select um, start the selection manager up. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin it so that it doesn't keep disappearing. Uh, and then select the trapezium from the bottom and hit the tick and there we get our preview being built for us so we know that's going to work. So what I'll do is I'll clear my selections and what we'll do is we'll have a look at open loop. Now open loop, I can't select my trapezium because it, it, there isn't an open loop that it goes around it because it will go round and round and round. Again, I can't select my circle but I can select these two line items over here because they form an open loop. So we'll select those two, hit the tick and then I can select the same thing down at the bottom. So both closed loop an open loop will select a series of line entities in order to form a closed or open loop and it will do automatically for you with a single selection which is a nice neat way of getting hold of stuff. Free select allows you to select a group of items that are neither a closed nor an open loop uh, or a combination between part of a closed loop and part of an open loop. So if I select these items around here and then I accept that and then repeat this selection for the lower half we'll see our preview appear. So there we are, so that's using both the two line entities that are in my open group and part of my closed group and creating a single profile from them. We then have region select which as I said allows you to select a single region so I can select either half of my circle or I can select these small regions around the outside. The reason it doesn't allow for more than one region is you then start using one of the other tools instead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select half of my circle and then I can come through and select the other half of my circle and again we get our, our, our preview appear. Finally we have the standard select tool. Now standard selection, like I said, pretends that the selection manager is not available. Now in this case it won't allow me to select anything because there's nothing that I can select in this sketch which would give me a standard selection. Because the selection manager is already up, selecting those items doesn't do anything because usually it would bring up the selection manager. And then just to show you what would happen with a pin, if I close my surface loft and reopen lofted surface, the selection manager automatically appears before I have to clear anything because it was pinned. Thank you very much for watching.